Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, the last Friday in May. 10 o'clock in the morning. Boy, that was a quick month. Quick? I've been stuck inside all month. What are you talking about? <clears throat> wake up. Let's see. Wake up around 5.45 in the morning, grab my laptop, take it upstairs into the kitchen, and turn it on, and clock into work, and work till around 2.30 in the afternoon, and then... Stay at home, and yeah, that's been my life, you know, and yeah. At least you have a job, a lot of folks don't have that. Oh, I know, I know, I ain't complaining about that now. Okay, sorry everybody, I'm kind of drinking a Dr. Pepper at the same time. So, we have a couple different things today. Now, if anybody has watch uh follows us on facebook you should notice we have a link set up uh at the bottom i actually have the link of the article um that we're all be discussing in the um in the description also so that will be there as well so but the first thing we're going to talk about is on july 11th uh disney world reopens up they said it's going to be in phases, which I'm taking is going to be like a slow process. They said like the whole resort's going to start opening up. So I mean, I'm, my guesstimate is when they mean phases means is allowing how many people to come in. Well, I'm thinking it's just going to be like certain parts of the park going to be opening up, like this part, then the next part, and the next part. Because I know it's not just one park; it's really what three. Three separate parks in one. You've got Magic Kingdom, you've got Epcot, you got yeah. the old MGM Studios. I don't I think it's still called MGM Studios. And then you've got their little um like their zoo, their safari thing. I don't I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't know. They got that one part, uh one part that's like closed off. It's like it's a it's a death hazard. If we went in there we'd die. That's not cool. It wasn't. It wasn't any of Disney's fault. There's a um, there's a natural amoeba that's in there that uh, eats your brain. Oh, joy! You know what? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the CDC is working with them to try to figure out how to kill the amoeba. I mean, it happens in fresh water, so I mean, it's natural. I mean, it's been like that for years. I mean, over like a decade and a half, I think. Because they somebody did get it and die, and they tested the water, and uh, Disney shut down that area because they already knew no, we have to shut this down. We, we you know, th there's just no. Well, I don't know what kills that particular amoeba. I think some people in the CDC are working on that because it does follow under. I think it falls under the guidelines as far as I know, because it would technically be a biohazard, but it's a natural. A natural type biohazard. Hazard. Well, OSHA would come in on that. And that's why I think it is. I think it's a combination of CDC and OSHA. So, I don't know. I need to research that a little bit more. Uh, that's, that's one of those weird things. Yeah. All right, so enough doom, doom and gloom on that one. So, with the Bob, as we call him here on uh, Nerds with a Cause. So, with Bob uh, floating around, I do know they said that they'll be wearing masks. You know, park attend uh, employees will be wearing oh, masks. Employees. Which that'll be interesting there. You know, I, I can just see uh, some of the Disney characters diddy bopping around with a mask on. I can see they can probably make it work very easily with the cast members that are like Cinderella, Snow White, Aladdin, you know, stuff like that. Beauty the Beast. Yeah. Well, like the beast, you know, he'll already pretty much have a mask <laughs> on, uh, in a sense, you know, stuff like Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Donald Duck, you know. I just feel sorry for them because, you know, I know those things get hot. That'd be interesting. They make them wear a mask just to encourage the, uh, uh yeah, the park goers to wear a mask. Well, do you know as soon as they exit the, the locker room? Where they put their mask on, um, when they put their outfits on, they are in character as soon as they exit the locker room. So if this was the locker room, and yeah. let's say I'm a certain character, I zip up and I put the mask on, I can be like, oh, another day. As soon as I walk, let's say I'm goofy, let's see, as soon as I walk out, 
I mean, you could be a mile, you know, you could be on the underground portion. You have to be in character. Well, that's understandable because as soon as you hit the door, there might be several people around there. And if you act out of character, they kind of, huh? No, no. Here's the whole thing is, though, the cast members' locker rooms are on, are on the underground portion of Disney. Yeah. Oh, I know that. As soon, as soon as you come out, though, when it's open, you have to be in character because you don't know. Even in the underground portion. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm just hoping everybody adheres to the rules at Disney because I know people don't adhere to the rules at Disney. They will chunk them out. Mm, they no. don't. Refunds. And the past couple of years, they, they've gotten pretty strict. Well, they've had to with all the stuff going on around the world. And that was also like with, you know, you've got Instagram people and TikTok, you know, uh, all that stuff, people trying to do something stupid to get become famous. You know, Disney's not, hasn't been, you know, they can't play around. Well, not, not to mention uh, outside influences coming from these countries that have all these bad actors that want to come in here and stir up stuff. Uh, listen, mm, well, let's avoid that talk here if we can. Okay. Okay. I I I know, I know what you're getting at, but uh, I, uh, that's as far as I was going. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I, I'm glad Disney's opening back up. I really am because I know that's a big money maker, and I know I know there's a lot of people that work there. You know, not not just in the you know, I guess the best way to put it is full time folks. A lot of people. College age people, that's how they make their money to go to school. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was uh, one guy at Disney. I didn't get to go into the shop because, you know, this was when I was in, uh, you know, I went my freshman year in high school, remember? Yep. My group didn't want to go in there, which I wanted to check it out. You know, we were, I think, it, it was like an hour before we were going to leave, and we were just kind of shopping around in the Magic Kingdom area, but there was a guy... Uh, and there was one of the other employees there. He was on break. He he had like a popsicle or something, you know. He said, hey, guys, I'm on break. Uh, but he was, you know, he worked at the shop next door. And he said, yeah, uh, so-and-so has been here like for 25, almost 30 years, you know, like 30 years. Uh, well, what he was doing is he was um, making small glass sculptures, like right on the spot, like, you know, making like the um, Cinderella's castle, like a glass sculpture to Cinderella's castle. Like, you know, like when they take the little thin pieces of glass and mold it together. Yeah, maybe your mother saw, saw that glass blower, some glass makers making little trinkets. Yeah, like he was doing like right there. So yeah, he's been here for like over 30-something years, uh, you know, 25, yeah. 30 years. I said, I said, he's good, you know. Make, making little bitty things. Go on the desk or mm -hmm. on the mantle or something, a Christmas tree ornaments. That was interesting. Yeah. And that's some pretty big stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Ex expensive stuff. Yeah. But you can see the much time and effort they put into it. Really, since it's hand done, really it's cheap if you figure it by the hour. Well, I think. Half of what I, normally it would cost. I think with that, because it's very much of an artisan type of thing, I think he oh, get, yeah. he would get paid more oh, yeah. compared to the person at the calendar. Oh, yeah. Personally, I want to go in there, but Blake and all them didn't want to. And, and I know how that is. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, I just want to go in there and check. Any of the things dealing with artisan type shops at Disney is very worthwhile just to go and watch and see how they do what they do. Oh, that's why I said if we ever go, I know um, I know we could probably that's why I said there said we ever go to Disney, it's going to be a little more little more than a week. Because it's the Magic Kingdom itself. Epcot and the Magic Kingdom which two of the older parks. I mean, oh, yeah. you can spend two or three days at each. Oh, yeah. Just and if you go in the good old summertime, uh, one place you want to visit is uh, Small World after all. And people say, well, why is that? 
It's hot outside, but boy, is it uh, nice uh, and cool in there. there. It's like, ah. Yes, yes it is. So, Disney will be able to make some of their money back, which I know that's going to make some of their people on the boards happy. You know, we're losing our money. You know, the the director of part, uh, the guy, I'm trying to remember correctly, with Disney right now, because they just went through some head changes, the guy who was in charge of Disney Plus just left. He he went somewhere else. The lady who was in charge of all the Disney parks all over the world, she just got, I think, I had to double check with her. She just got promoted to the Disney Plus uh, streaming site. And then the guy who was in charge of Disney World is now in charge. Uh, you know, Disney World's really picked up the past couple of years, you know, yeah. on how they... On how their employees have been treated, uh, for the most part, there's still some bad stuff happening, but it's gone up compared to what it was. Yeah. The guy who was in charge of Disney World just got promoted to be in charge of all Disney parks around the world. That's a, that's a big, of course, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of responsibility too. Oh yeah, because I mean, you think he's going to be handling, you know, uh, Disney World, Disneyland, you know here in America and then you've got the Disney in Europe uh, you've got Disney uh, Disney in Japan yes then you got Disney over in China mm -hmm. is there one in South America mm, not that I know of and the one in Canada I'll have to ask some of my friends yeah you know who to ask yeah I'll I'll, I'll, I'll ask uh, Cobalt I'll ask her so, but no, I, I'm glad on that. So anybody going to Disney World uh, later this year, which we have some friends who are planning to go in November, that's the only time they could go. They're going to get to go. So. Oh, well, it's still been nice down there even in November. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd like to for us to go again. You know, yeah. get get a couple, you know, you, you, uh, you and mom and then maybe some other people that I know or something. Not not trying to be me. I love my sister and everything, but I I could not go to Disney World with her and uh, her husband. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I just said that I love my sister. I, I do love my brother-in-law, but I can only handle him in small doses, like really small doses. Uh, yeah. What? I'm being honest, oh, and I'm being yeah. Well. I understand. I don't think they listen and anyway. It's one of those things too. You save up your pennies and stay in the park. Yeah, I, it's, it, it's worth it. It really is. It, yeah, it's just worth it staying to the stay in the park and everything. In my in my opinion, we didn't stay in the park when we were with they the band really trip. They had some nice restaurants at the hotel. Oh, oh, oh. all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, now let's not talk about the food aspect. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to you go. You got your hot dogs, your corn dogs, and hamburgers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now. Um, when we go, even though that I'm probably gonna be dead tired, you know I'm probably gonna go ahead and hit the gym in there because I'm. I gotta burn these guys. <laughs> well, that, that's one thing about you go to that part. You need some good, really good walking shoes. We're not talking about this ten dollar pair that you pick up at the local shoe store yeah and you know where I'm i'll just buy about. i'll just buy some shoes just for that so uh when we find more about disney disney parks and all that stuff we will let y'all know now oh which begs the uh, question isn't sea aren't the sea world parks part of disney now i don't know i know sea world's supposed to be opening back up but yeah. i am not 100 percent positive on that no, I, they're, they're opening back up. I know they're opening back up. I, I'm not I don't sure know if they're owned by Disney now or not. I don't know. I need to check. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I heard need something to that effect that they were, but I'm not sure either. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'll check on that. Now, Those are fun too. Yeah. Now, speaking of other Disney uh, properties, we are, we are going to get a movie that has been in limbo for over a year. It partially went into limbo due to the fact of the Disney merger with Fox and then with Bob appearing like he did uh, this year. Uh, excuse me. 
uh, pushed the movie back again, so we thought it was going to be next year. That was one of the rumors, which I was really upset about, because this movie is rated R. Yeah, I know it's a rated R movie, you know, that Disney uh, has helped make, you know, or Disney has property of, but believe it or not, Disney actually has some rated R films. They have, uh, they are a parent company. Well, the, this is the... That under their Vista brand. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see. It is the first in the Marvel Cinematic Universe dealing with, officially dealing with mutants. The new mutants. Very interesting. Now, if anybody who doesn't know, the new mutants originally came out in the 1980s. They were supposed to be, they were a young group, um... I think they came out in 81. I think they did. 81, 82. I don't remember which. Yeah, they were just kind of like an offset. You know, they were they were, they were were under the X-Men. You know, they were, they were just kind of the Academy people compared to, like, your your blue team. Well, well, I think X-Factor at the time was not around. I got to double check. But, you know, which later became known as, like, the gold team and the blue team. So... But, yeah, New Mutants is going to be coming out Labor Day weekend, the 28th of August. Well, we'll, we'll definitely be in line for that one. Yeah, we got to sit there and talk about that one because we are going to Joe Fest that following weekend. I think it's Labor Day we- Yeah. Huh. I'll have to double check. Yeah, you have to double check on that. We might have to go to the Friday premiere. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the th- the the Thursday night premiere. We might have to do premiere night, cause we're going to Joe Fest. I ain't, I ain't missing that again. Oh, well, we didn't miss it li- uh, last year. And it's doubled in size from last year. When we're, holy guacamole, Batman! It's you know. Yeah, it was supposed to be. Thing, it's it's blowing up. They got to find new venue. If this keeps going. Yeah, well, it was, it was supposed to be this month, uh, yeah. this coming month, and then they moved it to. Oh, well, that's fine by me. Everyone else can go to Dragon Con and get drunk. I, I, want, I want to go to... The chairs thrown at them. Uh, so ten stories up. Yeah. And deal with all the football fans. Because that's also, you know... You got the big LSU game that usually happens. Uh, and I don't know who's going to be. Last couple of times, you know, every time we get... We, uh, I've been to Dragon Con, LSU's always played there for some reason. So. Yeah, that's the team from the East, I mean, from the West Conference. Yeah. Part of the conference. Anyway, so we've got that going on, and I I think it's got two mo- two characters from Games of... Two two actresses from Games of, Games of Thrones or something. That I'm not 100% sure. So we'll just have to see. I'll have to check the casting. I, like, I know it's like... Wolfbane, um, Sunspot, which Sunspot's really powerful. Uh, there, there's a couple other ones, but I know it's supposed to be like a really, it's supposed to be a darker movie. I don't think there's going to be a lot of blood, guts, and gore. I think it's more, much going to be more of a psychological thriller. Maybe some jump scares. More Hitchcock. I think it's, yeah, some Hitchcock and probably a little more Nightmare on Elm Street type is what I'm kind of thinking. I'm getting to feel, minus the, you know, massive blood, you know, squirting from you know, the bed going up into the ceiling. Yeah. So, with that also said, you know, we're talking about movies, and if you look at our description, you can see the link to the actual article. You can also find the article uh, link on our Facebook page is. Comicbooks.com, which is, uh, I will say, is a uh, subsidiary of CBS and, you know, Viacom, which is owned by CBS. Uh, what? Okay. Is, they announced, and this was probably about an hour ago. So, you know, keep in mind, everybody, that, you know, we record this the night before. So, this will have been last night, that the Sonic the Hedgehog movie has been, a uh, sequel has been greenlit. It is official. It is official. Which really doesn't surprise me after they put in the time and effort to listen to the fans to change the design to look, make them look more like Sonic the Hedgehog, not make like a Sonic, Sonic the Porcupine, Sonic the humanoid looking creature. Yeah, that was like, that was, yeah. 
they, I, they, they try to make him look to, cross between a human and a um, porcupine. No, a hedgehog. Wow. And it didn't look right. They were trying to go anthropomorphic humanoid, and they weren't doing it right. That's all I'm going to say on that. So you know, of course, you know when they did the redesign, the internet pretty much flipped out. There was people cheering. There was people crying. You know, just because it it you know it felt more. It felt like the hedgehog. Yeah, looked and you know adding the music. Yeah, because I'm sorry, Gangsters Paradise for the opening of Sonic the Hedgehog that just did not fit with it. All right, I'm I, I'm sorry. You know, so Sonic was. Serious but silly at the same time. Even the Saturday morning cartoon was a little silly, but you know that was the darker one. You know it got dark, but it had silly moments in there. Well, it's supposed to be like a teenager, anyhow. Right. Now, so the the sequel's been greenlit. You know, after opening weekend, because it it outdid what bird it. Uh, even you had what uh, Birds of Prey, and it wasn't yeah. doing too good. And opening weekend it did like over 65 million dollars opening weekend and then the next weekend it hit over 100 you know it it, it less than a week it hit over 100 million because people were going to see it like two three times because they just loved the movie so much it's one of those things here take this right so nee, 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 nee. hold on I think I got a cricket in here. I can hear a cricket. You may have. Hey, that's good luck. Yeah. So, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will be coming out. We don't know when because of, you know, Bob has shut down Hollywood. We do know Tails will be in it after if you stay for the end credits. Which Tails was voiced by the same vo uh, voice actor who does Tails in the Sonic Boom cartoon. So I don't know who they're going to have in it. I know Jim Carrey is definitely saying that for the sequel, he would love to do Dr. Robotnik in a fat suit. <laughs> Make him, you know, Eggman. You know, because we knew him as Dr. Robotnik. Yeah. You know, the, the new generation knows him as Eggman. Yeah. So he's looking forward to doing the movie. Oh, the... Oh, I have to say, Jim Carrey's performance in it was... Oh, to me, it was good. It it, was, no, he, he did good. Did and good th that, that was old school Jim Carrey, you know, 90s Jim Carrey, 100%, you know, is this kind of like... Classic Carrey. It, it, was, it was classic Carrey, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, because when Everybody I heard... that saw it loved it, too, said, man, he did a great job. I was, I have to admit, I was a little afraid when they said Jim Carrey was Dr. Robot. Oh, no. I, I had that look like, oh no, this is going to go one or two ways. And I have to admit, I, I had worse. That was the only part I, I was worried about with the movie. So, a lot of the people did say they would return for the film. So, I mean, here's hoping, you know. When we know more, you'll know more. Yeah. And if you know more, let us when know. When we know more, link us, please. Yes, yes, please. Could you stop? I can hear that. <laughs> I wouldn't think you could. No, the, no, these things pick up a lot. Now, one of these days will make you uh, wear the headphones, so I don't have to wear them. I got to wear these for work half the time because of training. All right, so that's two things going on. We don't know anything about the MCU as of right now. No. Uh, when Black Widow is supposed to come out, it's supposed to come out in November. I'm hoping it does. Well, I'll, that that would be a good time. Would be sometime in November. I, I, I would unquote the holiday season. Uh, we'll go. <laughs> we're, we're we're seeing that movie. I I I mm, 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 I I. I I'm I'm if it was me, I would do it during Thanksgiving weekend. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of people are off and whatnot and looking for something to do. Well, I wanted to definitely like I said, you know, if it's Thanks I'll have to double check. I think they might have it up. I hope it hasn't been changed. 
I know Venom got moved to next year, Venom 2. I think Morbius got moved to next year as well. Which will probably be, probably Morbius will probably be out at the beginning of the year. I, I think Shang Chi got moved, also, which I'm a little upset about that. You know, that's the martial arts. Shang Chi, Master of Kung Fu. Well, you know, you had the Immortal Iron Fist, but he, you know, uh, Danny does a different style of martial arts compared to Shang Chi. Yeah. So. Which I've seen parts of Iron Fist and. Uh, I, after we finish, okay. The only thing I'm sitting there and say is no Badlands. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. We got. To, I said we, we we are spoiled with because of Badlands. Yeah. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Into the Badlands, which is a show that was done on AMC. We're finally getting to watch the final season right now, and we're a year behind. Yeah, we're a year behind because we were moving and we had so much other stuff we were catching up on. Um, we just were not able to sit and, and enjoy it. And then the holidays came around. We were going to the. We, we saw a couple of movies in the theaters, and we have holiday tradition films and TV shows we watch. You were thinking of something. No, not really. I was just thinking that you're right. We had so much going on at the time. I'm surprised that we got to see what we did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unpacking. Still unpacking the office a little bit, but uh, hopefully that will be changed in the next month or so. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we, I have to admit, we've been spoiled with the Badlands, Dad. So I saw, like, one of the fight scenes, and I'm sitting there like, what what no this is supposed to be the immortal iron fist he you know yeah we're comparing everything to now i, I have to admit to compare everything to kung fu theater <laughs> well the people who do uh into the balance know what they're doing oh yeah i mean i i would i would love to See the behind the scenes stuff with that. Def had to get that on on DVD, Blu Ray combo. Well, I dare say they had a lot, a lot of practice. Oh yeah, they they had to practice. You e still e have to practice even wire work because you can mess up wire work and get hurt real easy. I actually, I think that happened in the CW show Batwoman, which you know, pff, Bat I'm sorry, I don't like Batwoman. I, I I'm. I, I thought the show just it, it didn't appeal to me. I saw the the trailer for it. I'm like, okay, but um, I think her name is Ruby Rose. Um, which I I I'm glad she's okay. She got really hurt doing like one of the stunts, and I think it was with the wire work or something. Like her back got hurt, and like I heard about it, and I was you know I'm like, oh geez, I hope she's okay. I don't like the show. Doesn't mean I want her to get hurt or anything. Oh no. Uh. Which, I think she left, yeah, she left. I don't know if she left or got fired. Because uh, she was only in there for a season, so. And she's like a film actress, so for her going to, from film to like 20 episodes. Going from the big screen to the little screen. It's a little more demanding, because, in a sense. Because oh, yeah. it's constant. It's, it's like doing a short movie every week. I'd rather do it constantly instead of sitting there and twiddling my thumbs. Well, I understand that, too. And depending on how big a part you have as to how much you have to do. And then again, too, she got hurt, may have been hurt to the extent she's having to sit out or whatever to completely heal up. You yeah. Get your back. You don't get over that in, in just two, three weeks. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Four or five, it might not be ever, depending on what was hurt. Well, that was like, um, I'm going to try to say her name as best I can. The first, the first Yellow Ranger, uh, Tua, I think that was her, I think, but she played Trini. Uh, she hurt her ankle. Um, and, you know, you always, you always notice that she didn't walk a lot in some episodes. You know, it's about five or six episodes she didn't walk a lot because her ankle was healing. 
you know, she did what she could in the martial arts, but, you know. And that that's the, I think that's one of the things is it takes a while to heal. And if you're on set, you know, constantly, you know. Or in the stand or whatever, not resting that injury. Well, I think the last time I hurt my back was, what, 2000, 2015? Yeah. And it took, it wasn't a, I can't remember. I think I was doing a jump spin sidekick, and I don't know what I did. My back seized up on me. And I remember you see, you remember seeing the muscle spasms. Yeah. I mean, it took me about a month and a half for my back just to, like. Finally unwind. Yeah, it took a month and a half for it just not to hurt. And that was right before I started teaching a uh, priest. All right. Anything else? No, I'm hoping that uh, everything goes well with the reopening of the park and the parks in the park. Mm -hmm. Just everybody be safe and adhere to what they ask you to do so you don't get chunked. Yeah, yeah. Them tickets ain't cheap. No, 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 no. And you can't be banned for life, and they will take your picture, and you will go all across to every... Disney Park, and they will they have facial recognition. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I was like, oh, that don't facial recognition doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. And Disney is rich enough to have it. All right, so with that said, we're, we're about to end this podcast, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to us here on the channel that it this is on. Because this, you know, this could be on another platform by now, too. It would, of course, be a rerun. Uh, as well as find us on Facebook, Nerds with the Cause. If you got any suggestions for any future podcasts, leave them in the comment section or you know, message us on Facebook. And let's see. On Monday, we will have a special, well, somewhat special focused podcast. What? Okay. You got that? You, you got that look like, wait, really? We're going to be watching three episodes of one of our favorite animes, one of our new current favorite animes, and after the third episode, we watch the third episode, we're going to come do the podcast. We're not going to do any major spoilers for no. it, no. Um, but we are going to sit there and uh, just talk about it and some other things in general. So it is it is kind of a special one, but at the same time, it is just something that people need to know, too, okay? Oh, yeah. Anything? If you're in anime, yeah. Yeah, if you're in anime, which, you know, this is a, you know, nerds with a cause. You know, we talk about everything and anything. We'll have a special Badlands when we finally finish ba Into the Badlands. Yeah. That might actually be a week. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to take a minute. So, are you good? You got anything you want to say real quick? No. Okay, everybody. Be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid. Wash your hands. Keep your mask on. If you walk into a business and they say you need a mask on, just say okay. Go, go get it. Go get a mask. You know, keep even one if you, in your pocket. Yeah, even if it's like a little, you know, Just handkerchief. Yeah, or so, something like that. You know, you make it in, and everything. Buy by the rules. Everyone knows what to do. Be adults. Be respectful. Don't be idiots. Okay, everybody. With that said, we are out.